One, two, buckle my, we got a shoe. That's right, your Shumalier is back again with another shoe. I know it's in this box, it's a little late, but adidas.com was having a fantastic sale and a shoe that retailed for I believe $180 was only $145. So what pray tell did I get? Here's a hint. You knew it was Adidas. You knew it was some sort of boost shoe. I'm all about that boost, baby. It is the EQT Support 9317 Gore-Tex. The white one, the white Gore-Tex. Now, calm down. Yes, it is February, technically winter. And if you follow old school sartorial rules, you are not supposed to wear white after Labor Day and before Memorial Day. But as you, my loyal viewers know, I live in Texas. Why is that important? Because if I was in the Panhandle or in the Dallas area, it would be colder longer. I would get ice, sleet, possibly snow. But being in central Texas, don't have much of a winter, though as I've mentioned before, this has actually been a pretty good winter for us. All that to say, I can wear white shoes whenever I want. And even if it was snowing every day, I'm gonna wear white shoes whenever I want. So let's look at it. Hmm. First things first. Oh yeah. Oh man, can always count on a good smell. Well, that went away fast. It was like it was good for one, one puff. Let's take the other shoe. That's a good one. One and a half. Mm. It's an EQT 9317. One of my favorite silhouettes. It's white-ish. And by ish, it's got a lot of white. But it's like when you have a triple black and it's like three or four different blacks. I guess it would be three because it says triple, but they don't all match. So for example, I think the widest part of the shoe next to the boost are the three stripes. And then everything else is like a cream white, an off white, an eggshell white. So let's start from the bottom. Here is your outsole. At first it would appear this is your standard EQT outsole, but it has this little orange stealth rubber. I think that means no one's gonna be able to hear you coming for me. Wait a minute, the bottom's different. Hold your horses on that comment. This is a very different bottom. It's got like a basketball grippy thing on the front, basketball grippy thing on the back. They're not selling it as a basketball shoe. I'm not a baller, so I don't think this would be appropriate for balling. Maybe in the snow, snowball? This is nice. I do like it. Mm, this is great. Your humongous amount of boost this is the most boost on any shoe. However, that BY Dub might have more. I'm not sure. Can't wait to get my hands on it. If only it was sitting in the box in the hallway. Let's look at the back. It's got a nice heel tab, white with orange writing, 375. Has a little orange stripe with some silver on the bottom of the heel tab. And then a Gore-Tex.com black tag. Now, I think that's kind of tacky. I don't dig that. I get it, you wanna put your brand on the shoe, but number one, it's too small. No one's gonna see from far away that it says Gore-Tex. And number two, it's black. It just sticks out, make it white. That's upsetting. On the back of the heel, ooh, it's got a nice like plastic type backing back there to give you a little bit of ankle support for all the snowballing. No, wait, I just realized what a snowball is. Nope. We have a cream pseudo cage from here. I call it cream. It's definitely not white. Clear cream all the way around. As I mentioned before, we have the white nylon type backpack strap three stripes, which on the other side are not there because it has a pseudo suede, maybe actual suede with a silver Adidas Terex logo work. We go to the tongue and it is your stock equipment Adidas 9117 with your clearish gray silver lace tab. There's a word for that. I know the word aglet. I don't know what the word for this is. Somebody tell me what it is in the comments down below. I'm lazy. White laces. Silver aglets. The upper Gore-Tex. That's what the shoe is. It's a Gore-Tex shoe. Gore-Tex is like water resistant, not waterproof. So if you're into snow or walking through snowy woods or maybe rainy woods or rainy days, this would be an appropriate shoe for you. Mud guard. Feels kind of plasticky, but I know it's not. Cream shell, egg shell, cream, creamsicle white. It looks like mesh, but it's clearly not. The removable insole. And by removable, I mean uh, part of the insole is removable. 
That's really weird. I probably got, no wonder my shoe was on sale. I got a partially removable, look at this. I can remove it partially. Oh, wait, I think I can remove it all, but I'm not gonna. On the inside, under the insole, it has this stuff on top of the boost. And the insole is orange, orange. And it says equipment matches the little orange stealth rubber on the bottom of the shoe. Another thing about why it's so cheap, probably, this was what was inside the shoe. Not even a cardboard shoehorn. It does come with bonus laces though. I wonder if these are stealth laces. These look thicker, probably not thicker. These are white with little gray highlights, specs, lines, if you will. Still has these silver aglets. And you're wondering why is there silver? Reminder, there's silver on the back. I don't think they call this shoe triple white. It's got orange and silver and black, that little black. What? You know how I am. Look at this. Nary orange to be found except for the insole in the back and there's orange. I guess I can't use water to get it off because it's water resistant. Oh, and if I try to peel it off, I'm starting to peel the silver Gore-Tex. Son of a... Hold on. I couldn't get it off. Stupidadidas.com. Come on. No wonder the shoes are on sale. If you haven't seen my 9317 video before, this is one of my favorite silhouettes. I love it. It's so aggressive. It's sexy. I like this shoe. It's a solid shoe. It's all white-ish with a little bit of color on the back. I dig the silver highlights. It's gonna be so comfortable, as you know from 9317s, with all of a DAT boost. I'm excited to see what this feels like. New outsole. I hope they continue something like that. I definitely want to see more innovation in the design. Not that many people get to see the outsole of the shoe, unless you're kicking it old school, like an old fool who's so cool. But basically, change a little thing, you're gonna make me buy it. It's like Malibu Stacy. This one comes with a hat. Still has that wonky burrito tongue. I'm not sure what I think about it. It doesn't bother me, but I don't love it. It wouldn't be the first thing I'd say I love about the shoe. It's not even something I love about the shoe. I tolerate it. I think I want a burrito now. You know the drill. Let's put it on. Cue the sexy music. how this part goes let me know in the comments down below what you think about this EQT Gore-Tex shoes do you have it do you dig it I like it it's a solid shoe solid it's a good shoe if you're interested in my professional life come visit me on my other channel Daniel Montoya Jr. if you like this video thumbs up thumbs up emoji maybe even subscribe prayer emoji as usual thanks for watching stay tuned and just chill till the next episode